all right how's it going got another little video and uh this time it's on the damn designs spinners specifically the i guess you would probably call them the war pig ish style um they all have different names but you know they're all kind of the war pig style which kind of looks sort of like a ninja star it's so badass um, but right here I have the Decide, I know this one's called, or D-E-C, -D yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Decide, and I might be saying it wrong, remember, I'm not an expert yet. Um, and then you've got the War Pig, and then you've got the War Machine, and then I forget, so <laughs> I'm sorry, I forget the name of this one. Um, but the style looks generally the same, so I figure it's kind of part of the same lineup here. So I wanted to just cover them all real quick in a video. Um, so, let me grab my scale, because... I feel like putting these on the skizzy is going to be kind of cool to see the different weights. But first we'll talk about the Decide. And if I'm saying it wrong, I'm going to keep saying it wrong because I <laughs> I don't know any way else to say it. Um, this piece I got um, kind of randomly actually. I think I bought like some stuff from like Russell or something. And um, yeah, I remember getting like an Unquiet Hands Attic and he mentioned that he had this and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take it, whatever. He was like, yeah, it's not perfectly balanced or whatever, but I thought the design looked cool enough, so I picked it up from him. Man, was that a phenomenal uh, decision because this little freaking spinner is incredible. I love this thing so much. Um, some of the reasons why, number one, it's tungsten. I, I absolutely love tungsten. Everybody knows that by now. I don't have to keep saying that. But the design of this thing is just fantastic. Like, uh, you're able to get the best and the the best flicks, the best pulls. Like, you can rip the shit out of this little thing. And let me give you an example. And listen to that sound. Sounds phenomenal. I love the sound of this thing. And then also, um, you know, for the rips, you've got these corners here. You can get an amazing pull like that. Really good pulls on this guy. Um, flicks, you can get a great flick. You just stick your finger in this little channel right here and then just send it. And then the cool part about it is if you flip it, you've got the arms going in different directions. So you've got like these little, you know, then the, the little, I guess, outlets here. Um, the pointer side, f you know, is facing your finger. So you're able to get even better flicks on this thing. So just flicking, pulling, flick, pull, it's a joy. It really is a joy to play with. Um, obviously you can see that I put a custom button on here. I actually like this spinner so damn much I bought uh, a custom Mokuddy button from NJT. Uh, specifically for this spinner. Um, in hindsight, <laughs> I probably should have got a, another Mo Cuddy one in like a larger size because this literally only works on this. I can put it on other spinners, but it's so damn small it doesn't really look right. But man, am I happy that I have it on this guy. Uh, let's check the weight. I don't have the W button on hand, so some weight's going to go away based on not having a, a tungsten button for it. But let's see how many grams it is. It is 132 grams. So that's pretty damn stout for something this small. Uh, moving on, and they're all kind of, they're all the same shape, obviously. So most of the things I just mentioned are interchangeable. But this guy right here, I thought this thing was a chunker. So the second I got this, I was like, I gotta have the other ones. Like instantly started looking for them um, the day that it arrived. Um, so same concept, um, you know, with the flicks and the pools and all that stuff, a little off camera. So, uh, same concept with the flicks and the pools and all that stuff, but definitely more weight. Let's see how much this guy weighs actually. So. This guy weighs 255 grams. That is stout. That, that's very stout. This thing is a chunker. Um, but it's still, it's so smooth. Like the, the action on this guy, action, I was just talking about knives, but the spin on this thing is, uh, is amazing. Like it, uh, it really is fun to, to just rip this thing and have something like in this shape and this size like moving around in your hand and it's even more it's even easier to catch your flicks and your pulls just because of the size of this thing you know like it's a little larger uh so anyway let's move on to the war machine so once i got that needed to have the war machine so found the war machine and holy shit is this thing freaking heavy man this thing 
with this button on there is 329 grams. Uh, to date, this is my heaviest spinner that I own. Um, it feels like throwing like like a weight or like a freaking baseball, like a heavy baseball or something. It's really hard to explain, but when you freaking rip this thing, it's like a full arm motion. Like you're throwing into this thing, and it's it's just sick, man. Like the um, the feedback and like the gyro you get off this thing is incredible. The only the only thing I would note is that you know your wrist you're gonna feel it in your wrist with this guy. Um, I do like how you know the the way the arms are. You can kind of get two fingers on it to really rip it good, um, but you can feel it in your wrist. Like I've played with this thing, you know, the day I got it for like a couple hours, and my wrist was freaking <laughs> sore because I like to rip and then kind of you know let it dance on the finger a little bit for a while before like turning and doing stuff like this and flicking and catching so um this definitely isn't an all day it's an all day rip i could rip it all day i'm not gonna be a bitch but <laughs> i'm just saying this thing is is damn heavy as hell um i would probably say most people who are like not freaks into w like i am this is probably too much for you um so there's there's that i uh, absolutely love that thing and i love the darker uh color on the finish with this tungsten too it's uh, got a black and dish gray finish on it and then we got the guy that sadly I don't remember the name for. Um, this one, I guess we can check the weight on this guy. This one is 188 grams, which I believe is similar to, no, this one's 255. Yeah, so all different weight profiles. Um, but this one is definitely lighter. Uh, it, it's it's in the similar, and it's it, the arms are sl more slender too. You also got these little holes on the arms too, which are interesting because you can get your finger in those holes, and <laughs> giggity, and uh, and you can rip it that way. Um, the gyro on this one is super cool too. Uh, really love the gyro. The flicks are cool. And then I also noticed with these arms, you can kind of, because they're they're long. Like if you don't have big hands like I do, I could see this like, see how it's almost close to my finger there? I could almost see it hitting your hand if you don't have like larger size hands. But if, the, if that's the case, you could just kind of pull it from right there and keep the distance away. So I noticed that that's possible too. But um but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to cover these these guys in a video because I, I love these spinners a lot, and they're they're pretty new to me. Um, I, I would definitely say if you were in the market for one of these damn design spinners, I would probably go with either the Decide or the Warpig, um, unless you're a freak and like you know like me on W, then go for this guy. But I would say generally this is probably the most pleasant to just, you know, fidget with just like, you know, on a daily basis or whatever. Like I could bring this down and, you know, downstairs and watch TV or whatever and, you know, have a good time with this one um, and not get fatigued at all. But, uh, but yeah, that's it. Oh, only other thing I wanted to note is that the damn design spinners, I know these are relatively like old school spinners, I guess you could say. Um, they don't have the speed holes in them. Let me pull this button off so I can explain. So yeah, most modern-ish, like nowadays spinners have speed holes in here where there's like cut out. Um, so these don't have that. I'm not that much of an expert to know how much of a difference that makes, but I think it, it does kind of affect the speed and time of uh, how long it goes. But, you know, even without the speed holes, I mean, these things are awesome. So highly recommend. Damn Design makes knives now, so they don't make spinners. But I did hear if we could get enough people together, uh, he would consider making spinners again. So maybe that's something the uh, the group can do, the uh, pass-along group. Uh, all right, everybody have a good day.